Well guys, the fender is finally off the car and I had to undo the two screws that are on, on the bottom of the fender. There are two screws inside, one is over here and one is in the top. This one had a rubber seal on top so it has to be removed to be shown. And it's kind of difficult because there is this plastic between the actual fender and the door that is kind of uh, weird and you have to find the correct position of the door to get this out of place and on top I'm gonna try to show you there are a few screws uh, this is at the very end of the fender and four more screws along the, um, the side but um, I was more curious on how to remove the front bumper because she was already broken over here and I still have the other piece that I have to remove so I once again checked online it was kind of uh, awkward to find out actually what is going on and uh, apparently this metal bracket is sitting over here like this in between the fender and uh, the bumper. This is the actual piece of the bumper that is uh, coming over here like this. You can see that is um, kind of um, where it was and uh, it is fitting over here well. From what I have seen there is this screw over here that has to be removed actually I removed this uh, metal piece from the fender and once this uh, screw is removed you can see there is a hole that he, the, the screw goes in and on the bumper is uh, this kind of hooky thing that is in the front as well and the one thing that is in front is the same as this one over here on the fender so the the both the fender and the bumper are getting inside of uh, this metal bracket and they are uh, tucked over here and uh, locked into position with this thing and then of course the screw is screwed through the bumper and the fender in this hole over here and this is how the bumper is fixed uh, now I'm going to try to remove the other piece of the bumper I will see how this is gonna go so uh, let's uh, give it a try so to remove the bumper uh, there are some plastic clips that, that have to be undone to release this uh, plastic cover over here that is underneath the fender and uh, to release it from the bumper then there is uh, this uh, screw that is over here uh, that I showed you that has to be unscrewed to separate and free the bumper from the fender and as for the front there is this 8 millimeter I think screw over here and uh, 10 millimeter screw over here to release it as well I don't know if I have to release these uh, screws but I'm gonna do that and I think I saw two, two more screws that are over here somewhere one moment to try to find them I don't see them at the moment I'm sorry for that, I don't see them at the moment, I'm gonna try, I think I saw that uh, there are some screws underneath there, I'm gonna see if there are and I'm gonna try to remove the bumper and I will see if uh, this is the way or there is something else that needs to be undone and of course I'm gonna try to explain that as well, so let's go.
Well, the bumper is finally off the car, <laughs> at least what is uh, left of it. And there are still some plugs that have to be unplugged. Over here is the outside temperature sensor that has to be disconnected. And in this case, the connection for the fog light over here needs to be removed as well. But the interesting thing is that I had to struggle a bit to get this out because nobody mentioned that um, there is this plastic tube over here. I don't know how to show you this. And this is kind of tucked inside of the, um, uh, the fender over there. And before the bumper can be uh, slide out because you can see this channel over here slides on that plastic tube. It is over here, this uh, thing, and the bumper is kind of sliding. That thing is going inside of this uh, opening and the bumper is kind of sliding on there. But before this can be slide out of the car, the bumper needs to kind of be pressed. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how exactly I'm gonna figure that out when I install the new bumper. It kind of be half pressed backwards, so this tooth can be released from the fender on the both sides, of course, and then the bumper can be taken out. I somehow managed to get this piece out without damaging anything, but it was pure miracle. And I was right, there are some uh, nuts on the bottom, two screws over here and over here as well. I don't know how to show this to you. Um, I wasn't able to show them to you. So to get to them, there is this grill over here that is kind of snapping on top of this thing with some plastic. It has some plastic clips on the back and just grabbing this uh, hold of this uh, plastic pieces over here. So you have to kind of take it out and reach out the bottom and, um, and uh, unscrew these uh, two bolts over here to release the bumper. And this is pretty much all. So now I'm going to continue with the disassembling of the car because I have to remove the right hand front, front light because it is damaged and the actual metal bumper that uh, is this aluminium thing that you see. So hopefully this is going to be all that it is damaged on this car and uh, for sure I'm gonna have to replace the bottom plastic piece, the cover under the engine in the front, in the right is broken, so probably we're gonna try to find a replacement for this as well. So I'm moving kind of slowly with this project, but we'll get there, so let's get back to work.
So guys, to remove the front uh, light, if it has a washing device for the light, there is this screw that has to be undone over here and um, simply pull out the jets for the, the light and for the light to be removed there is a, one screw over here on the right side and one screw on the top and on this side there is one screw that has to be unscrewed from the back side and of course once again the the plugs for the lights for plugs that have to be removed for the wiring and then the light is simply coming out the car